Ukrainian armed forces Starlink systems failed after the Russian offensive in the Kharkiv direction. As soon as the armed forces of the Russian Federation began an offensive in the Kharkiv region, the Ukrainian army began to experience serious problems with communications. Starlink systems have failed, the American press reports. According to the Washington Post, Ukrainian military personnel have complained of big problems with the use of reconnaissance unmanned aerial vehicles, in particular units of the 125th Separate Territorial Defense Brigade of the Ukrainian armed forces faced this problem. On the morning of May the 10th, Ukrainian armed forces military personnel were unable to receive broadcasts from reconnaissance UAVs. Therefore, the Ukrainian army was unable to track the movements of Russian troops. Communication between units could only be maintained using telephones and even then not in all cases. Ukrainian military personnel themselves believe that the operation of satellite communication systems has ceased due to the use of electronic warfare systems by the Russian army. Then confirmation, but indirectly, came from the owner of SpaceX, Elon Musk. The American billionaire acknowledged the presence of increased load on satellite communication systems, but associated them with a geomagnetic storm. Ukrainian experts voiced the same version. Let us recall that Starlink satellite communication systems are actively used by Ukrainian formations at the front to ensure communication between units. Disabling them immediately creates serious communication problems which affects the quality of combat operations. Starlink has been instrumental for Ukraine since the early days of the war. Communications are speculatively limited, positioning, navigation and timing capabilities are leveraged by Ukraine through Starlink. The Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 put the latter in a tough position in terms of staying connected to the outside world. Elon Musk vowed to open Starlink service to Ukraine and reportedly the service has become indispensable to both the Ukrainian military and civilians. Lately, though, slower service has been reported which could signal the use of Starlink by both sides. The volcano Concepcion erupted in Omtip Island in Nicaragua on May 17 at around 1400 hours local time. Following the eruption, small residual tremors associated with the explosion took place. The communities near the volcano were affected by gases and ash. The magnitude of the eruption was categorized as low to medium. The volcano eruption prompted the authorities to activate an alarm system on Omtip Island. According to the Nicaraguan Institute of Territorial Studies INITER, the eruption of Concepcion does not imply greater danger in the island. The footage of the Omtip Island shared on social media shows towering smoke rising into the sky. Concepcion is 1,610 m tall and rests on a 1 km thick base of quaternary lacustrine mudstones. It is considered a pristine volcano because there has been no influence of other volcanoes on its growth. Hey. Le llamé la vaca era de miso. Ay, 
si sí, hasta que suenan las piedras. Eh, está horrible.